-hmm. That being said, uh, it's got to kind of have your antennas up this week a little bit, right? Definitely, especially playing Florida State. Um, they're a good team, and it's always a really close game. Um, so we have to be on our game this week. Uh, everybody, offense, defense, and special teams especially, and we just have to make sure we play the best we can. Happy that um, it looks like that, that dirt is up from the Marlins deal and it's, it's all sawed out there. Yeah, definitely. It's nice to have all the grass back out there. Um, you know, it's interesting to play on the clay, but it's nice to get the, the regular turf back out there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. The answer to this question is, um, yes, much better to be kicking at Sun Life Stadium than in front of a gazillion people at Doe Campbell. Doe Campbell's fun, um, but yeah, playing in front of our home fans, it's always it's always great. Our fans are great, um, and you know, the stadium is a fun stadium to play in. Uh, talk about last week against Clemson special teams. How'd you you know assess things? And um, you know, I, th I feel we did really well. There are some things that we can improve on this coming week, and, and we're doing a lot in practice to make sure we do improve. Um, but you know, I think overall we did well. Um, return game, punt game. Field goals. I mean, everything was was pretty on point. How do you kind of limit yourself not to overextend yourself during the week so that you're you're kind of fresh for the game? Um, that's something that Coach Shannon, you know, has tried to make sure we don't kick too much during the week with you know in team activities. More just uh, mental reps and folks and like small drills to help with uh, small techniques. Do you, do you try to test yourself? What's my range from here? This con these conditions. You know, what can I do? If it's windy out, if it's raining out, stuff like that, do you try to test yourself? And um, I think most of that stuff's off-season type type work. Um, once you get to the season, you're mostly you're mostly trying to maintain and make sure that you you know you don't make little mistakes. Uh, the more of the range stuff is you know game day type stuff. You you know the weather, you know the wind, and that's when you kind of test your range out so you can know when it comes game time. And what's the communication process to, to, for you to get that message to the coaching staff to know so they know hey this situation Matt's going in. Um, kind of end of warm ups. Coach Pannunzio has a good can judge fairly well where I'm good from. I get back pretty, you know, to the mid to long 50s by the end, um, depending on the weather. So, I mean, he can normally tell where about I'm good from. Did you see Scobie's 59-yarder? I did. It was it was a great kick. Yeah, is that, is that like just make every kicker just jump up and down? Like, yeah, you're like you're just rooting for the guy? Definitely. I mean, that's one of those one of those things that every kicker dreams of. And, uh, you know, it was good for him to get that shot. And, you know, it was nice to see, it, you know, him sink it. Would you, would you want to go out there? Definitely. Uh, that's something, like I said, every kicker dreams of. And, you know, to get that shot would be awesome. All right, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Matt, it's a rivalry game coming up. What are you anticipating the atmosphere to be like? Typical Florida State game. Um, they're always nuts. The fans are always rowdy, ours and Florida State's. Um, I think it's going to be a great game. And coming off a win last year up in Tallahassee, how are you, what, do you, what, what does it mean to be back home for this game? Uh, it's great. Florida State, um, it's fun to play up there, but playing a Florida State game at home, it's, it's hard to compare to anything else. It's such a good rivalry game that you get a really intense game and the fans are so into it that it kind of it's different than any other regular game.